Hey guys, it's Jack with Kapwing, and today I have a trend alert for you. It's the beer poster trend where people are editing pictures of themselves with their favorite beer's logo behind them and making it look like they are in an ad or a poster for the beer. This is a rising trend that I don't think has peaked yet, so now is the perfect time to hop on. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to edit your photos into a beer poster using a template that we have on our free online editor, Kapwing. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is click the link in the description and you will be taken to the beer poster template on Kapwing. Sign in up here on the right so that when you export it, it doesn't have the Kapwing watermark. It's completely free. You can sign in with Google or Facebook. Okay, now I'm all signed in, so I'm just going to say edit this template. And this template uses the Budweiser logo and the Budweiser beers. But if you wanna use another brand, you can totally do that and you can upload all of the stuff yourself. We're also gonna be updating the description with other templates from other brands. So make sure to comment down below which templates we should make. And then we'll make the most popular ones and keep them down in the description so you guys have an easier time making different brands. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just click on the stock photos we have and then press delete and then you're going to click the second one. There are two of them. You will find out why it's important. <laughs> so now you kind of have a blank slate and now it's time to upload your photos. Most people are going with sort of like a beachy or picnicky vibe because beer ads often are sort of like capitalizing off of your fantasy of vacationing. I don't really have that. So I'm going to be using this photo of me um, on one foot. <laughs> So the first thing you're gonna do is resize the photo to the size of the frame just by pulling the corners. The second thing you're gonna do is click on it and then you're going to duplicate it. You have to duplicate it, you need two of them because we're going to do a really cool effect that will make it look much more professional. You're just going to move it to the side a little bit. It won't look like that in the end. Then you're going to click the original photo on the left and then send it all the way backward using the backward button under the layer tab. And then you're going to do the same thing with the duplicated version on top. And then you're just gonna move it exactly on top of the other photo. So now you have two of the same photos on top of each other and you have all these other assets on top. So firstly, you can move around all the assets. I'm gonna bring mine down a little bit to show you guys uh, why we're doing the duplicate versions because I want my head to be on top of the logo and my fingers. And how we're gonna do that is click the top duplicate just by clicking that. And then you're going to click the erase button under image. Then you're going to use the erase tool on the right. And then we're going to erase everything above my head in the background. This will make it so that I can place this on top of the logo and it'll look much more professional. I like to start with the eraser size at maximum and then just quickly do it in the beginning. And then you can go in and refine it when you are ready. Ready. And you can really zoom in and refine it with a much smaller eraser as well. It definitely doesn't have to be perfect. You want to focus mostly on the parts that you know are going to be overlapping so there's not a big outline. So I'm just focusing mostly on the top of my hair. And then I'm also going to focus a bit more on the fingers. Then when you're done, click the done button. And then now you can click on this top layer and bring it forward. And there you have it. Now my head is on top and my fingers are on top of this Budweiser logo. Um, and it looks much more professional and dynamic in my opinion. Oh, but you see that I accidentally brought it too far forward. Um, I'm just going to back it up so that these come back. These proportion sizes also aren't right. So I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. And then I can sort of just leave this one on the side so it looks like I'm holding a beer maybe over there. And then I can put these over here. Then when you're done, you're just going to click the export image button on the top right. And then you can click the download button here and it'll download straight to your computer. And there you have it. Now you have your beer poster. All right, guys, that's about it. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to comment down below any other beer brands that you want us to turn into a template. We're going to be adding different templates of your most favorite beer companies in the description below. So yeah, make sure to comment down below and we will get to the popular ones. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators. Check out the Kapoing Discord where you can chat with the Kapoing staff like me and also other Kapoingers. And also make sure to check out the Kapoing TikTok where I am always up to some tomfoolery and I'll see you guys in the next one.